Hello my beautiful family, welcome back to our kitchen. I hope you're having a beautiful day. And if you're new here, hi, my name is Claudia and I wanna invite you to hit that subscribe button so you too can be part of our family. Today I'm gonna to share with you how to make the easiest and most delicious green chicken pozole. So if you're ready, let's get started. On a large pot over medium high heat, we're going to add six quarts of water. To that we're going to add salt, four bay leaves, half of an onion and seven garlic cloves. And we're just going to bring it to a boil. Once the water comes to a boil, we're going to add four pounds of chicken. I have a combination of drumsticks and chicken breast with rib. Okay, we're just going to wait for it to boil again. Okay, once it comes to a boil, remove any foam form on top of our broth. Okay, so now we're going to add 110 ounces of pre-cooked hominy. Make sure that you rinse it well. Give it a quick mix. And at this point, we're going to reduce the heat to medium low. We're going to cover it and allow it to cook for 25 minutes. Meanwhile, we can make our salsa. Okay, to make our salsa, we're going to roast five green chiles and two chile poblanos. And at the same time, we're going to bring to a boil 14 tomatillos, the other half of white onion, four garlic cloves, and chile serrano. Depending on how spicy you want your pozole, then it depends on how many serranos you're going to use. I'm going to add five. So just cover them with water and bring them to a boil. And at the same time, roast your chiles. Okay, so once our chiles are fully roasted, we're going to transfer them to a bowl or plastic bag. Just make sure that you cover them with foil. Okay, so we're just going to repeat the same process to the rest of our chiles and just allow our chiles to sweat. Okay, so once we have all of our chiles nice and roasted, we're going to allow them to sweat for 10 minutes. Meanwhile, we continue to wait for our tomatillos. Okay, and as soon as our tomatillos come to a boil, we're going to turn it off, drain the water, and set them to the side until it's time to make our sauce. Okay, so after 25 minutes, we're going to reduce the heat to the lowest setting to our pot. And now we're going to remove our chicken. We're going to remove all of the chicken because we don't want to overcook our drumsticks. And at this point, I'm also going to remove my garlic. Okay, so once we have our chicken, now we are ready to shred it. Okay, so make sure that you use two forks so you don't burn yourself. And I'm only going to be shredding my chicken breast. So I'm just going to remove that. And the chicken, it's still not done cooking. The chicken breast, it's going to continue cooking once we throw it back with the sauce. Okay, so as we have our chicken all nice and shredded, we can go back to finish your making our salsa. So we're just going to peel our chiles. So remove the stem. Just like that. Okay, so once we have our chiles, now we can get ready to blend. Okay, to a blender cup, we're going to add all of our tomatillos, onion, and pepper, along with the garlic cloves. And to that, we're going to add one teaspoon of whole black pepper, one teaspoon of whole cumin, one teaspoon of oregano, a half a teaspoon of marjoram, and a half a teaspoon of thyme. So we're just going to blend into smooth. Whoa, what happened? Um, technical difficulties, our light turned off. So now we're just going to blend into smooth. Okay, so once blended, we're going to add the rest of our ingredients. And that's a half a bunch of cilantro. All of our chiles. We're going to add five lettuce leaves. And you're gonna have to do it in batches if it doesn't fit all in your blender. And then we're going to add the leaves from our radishes. Just make sure that they're clean. And three ounces of spinach. And that's just going to add color. And you're also giving your kids vegetables without them even knowing. <laughs> and I'm also going to add two teaspoons of chicken bouillon and two cups of our chicken broth. Okay, so we're going to blend until everything is nice and smooth. Again, now we're back. <laughs> okay, so now blend into smooth. Okay, so once we have our green pozole sauce, now we are ready to fry it. 
Okay, so I'm going to grab a frying pan, set it on medium heat, and add a little bit of oil. We're just going to wait for the oil to heat up. Okay, so once it's hot, we're going to add our sauce. We're going to mix it and bring it to a simmer. Okay, so once our sauce comes to a simmer, we're going to get rid of all of the foam that's formed on top of the sauce. And that's just going to help our sauce not be bitter. Okay, so once we get rid of all of that, now we are ready to transfer it to our pot. Okay, so just be very careful and pour it over. And make sure you grab everything. Okay, so we're just going to mix it. We're going to turn up the heat to medium. And at this point, we're going to add our chicken. And two tablespoons of oregano. So we're just going to mix it. And at this point, taste it for salt and see if you want to adjust it. And now we're just going to allow it to come to a simmer. Okay, so once our pozole comes to a simmer, we're going to allow it to simmer for about 10 to 15 minutes. Meanwhile, we can get our cabbage, salsa, and everything ready for the pozole. Okay, so we'll wait for our pozole. We're going to make our cucumber salsa. And here I already fried four small tomatillos, one garlic clove, one chile serrano, and about 15 chile de árbol. So of course, it's all going to depend on how spicy you want your salsa. And make sure that you allow it to cool down before blending. Okay, and to that we're going to add a little bit of water. And we're just going to blend until smooth. Okay, so once we have that, now we are ready to pour it. Okay, so I'm going to be transferring it to a bowl with chopped cucumber, chopped cilantro, and chopped purple onion. So that we're going to add salt and squeeze about three lines. And at this point, try it for salt and see if you want to add any more. Mm. So now we are ready. So we're just going to wait for our pozole. You ready? And after 15 minutes, our pozole is ready. So now we are ready for the fun part. I'm going to grab my bowl and serve. Alrighty guys, and now for the fun part, dressing our pozole. So I'm going to be adding some cabbage, and of course you can add whatever you want. I'm going to be adding some sliced radishes, a little cilantro, our cucumber salsa, and just be careful because it is hot. Our slices of avocado, and some lime wedges. And just like that, now we are ready to enjoy our delicious chicken pozole. Alrighty guys, and now for the best part, the taste test. Now let me tell you that I am so ready. I've been waiting for pozole season to start, you know, because we love pozole, especially chicken. Um, and we like to eat our pozole with some chips, but of course you can eat it with tostadas or however you want. And I'm just going to add more salsa to my pozole because I do like my pozole to be spicy. And I don't make it spicy just because my kids, like I say, they love green pozole. So I like to make it, you know, good for them too. And the spiciness, you can always adjust it just by adding more salsa or just chile serranos. But I am so ready. Let me tell you that this recipe is seriously super easy. Chicken pozole, it's very easy and fast too. So hope you give it a try and enjoy it just as much. And you know, you can add whatever greens you want to your sauce. Um, the greens is just to intensify that color and of course the flavor, but I'm so ready. So cheers and enjoy. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Seriously? It's super delicious. Mm. The salsa though, it just takes it. It's like the cherry on top. <laughs> so good. Mm. Mm -hmm. 
And you know, because the salsa already has lemon, you don't need to add any to your pozole. But it is so good. I'm so ready to go sit down and enjoy my bowl of pozole. Alrighty guys, and there you have it on how to make the easiest and most delicious green chicken pozole. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and if you did, please don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. Share with your friends and family and if you regret this recipe, please don't forget to tag me in any of my social medias. And if you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button so you guys can be part of our family. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.